In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at multiple upcoming potential monster snowstorms. Both the European model and the American GFS model are showing this. We're going to be cross-examining those and going over the entire upcoming pattern from coast to coast for the entire United States. Now, before we get into things, be sure to check out Prestige Weather in the description, pinned comment, and the top right corner of your screen. We do weather consulting for businesses and individuals alike. We do a lot of consulting calls, consulting emails, consulting texts, and we have an exclusive community for you guys for weather consulting. It's all for only $5 a month, and we're actually running a promotion right now for Black Friday. If you put in the code DIRECT at checkout, you will get your first month for only $1. Be sure to check it out today. Now, on top of all of that, we do have our final winter forecast and our official December forecast available for early access within Prestige Weather. So for only 99 cents in your first month, you will gain access to both of those as well as our weekly consulting calls and other services we provide. Again, check it out today in the pinned comment description and the top right corner of your screen. Let's dive into things. We will be taking a look here at our simulated radar on both the European model and the American GFS model, and then also the total snowfall on the European model and the GFS American model. So we're going to be taking a look at all of that today, as well as the temperature anomalies where we have major cold air on the way also. Let's just dive through this. Uh, we see that we get a little bit of a warm up again. We're going to dive into the temperatures a little bit later on. By this point, this is going to be Friday, December 1st, so a few days from now, we do see some pretty major snowfall here for the western states. This is going to be for the Cascades and the Rockies primarily here. We see the Cascades receiving heavy snowfall, and then again, the Rockies there. We do have a storm system in the east, but this one doesn't really feature too much cold air available to it, so we only see snowfall on the very far northern extent of this one. We can see that it actually does look a little bit more wintry there than originally we saw over the past couple of days. So things are looking a little bit more wintry with this second storm, or better yet, the first storm here. We get our first Arctic blast here around the third, fourth, fifth time frame. We do have some pretty major storms taking place here for the northwestern states. So this is going to be for states like Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and Nevada, as well as western Canada. But really, the jet stream is doing this. We see this deep diving cold air here now over the central states, but this will curve eastward over time. Let's take a look at Monday the 4th. Well, let's not because we have a lot going on here. We see our low develop offshore here, 1,002 off of the Delmarva. We see that by the time we're reaching the afternoon hour, we see a very major snowstorm, one of our monster snowstorms that we're taking a look at today for New England and the rest of the Northeast. We can just zoom in. I want to really go in depth on this video, so we're going to zoom in here to, let's do the northeast here. This is going to give us an even better view. So we can see that by the time we are reaching early on Monday morning, we see snowfall starting here for the Adirondacks, Vermont, Massachusetts, kind of the Catskills area, and then in through, uh, or better yet, Berkshires for, of Massachusetts and Vermont there, and then we see into New Hampshire as well. By the time we're reaching the afternoon, what we end up seeing is that more cold air is moving in behind all of this. So we see the cold air moving eastward. Our low here is moving further offshore and further to the east. And what we end up seeing is more areas receiving snowfall as a result of this. Very heavy snowfall in this pocket right here, especially. So this is going to be for a lot of New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island there. And, and then what we eventually see here, let's just keep going through with this, but we see that this does come to an end by the time we're reaching about Tuesday afternoon, December 5th. Now, a lot can change, a lot can happen. Keep that in mind as we move through with this, but definitely the potential is there. And it is pretty validating. I will say we've been talking about this for probably five or more days about how close the models were to connecting on a snowstorm. And I just had a gut feeling that we would see some you know, solutions like this come out where these models would come together with something just like we just viewed because the ingredients were all there and we were so close to seeing it come together. So I knew there was probably an 80% chance or more that we would see these models begin to show something similar to what we just saw. Does that mean it's for sure gonna happen? Absolutely not. But I knew that these models would start to show some stuff like that. 
we get more cold air around the sixth, seventh time frame. It does start to move up where we do see warmer air pushing back, and eventually we get into more of a seasonal or seasonable uh, kind of temperate pattern here instead of that very Arctic air type pattern that we saw here on this model run. Let's move into the GFS model. This one gets a little bit crazier. Uh, not only are we going to see this first initial potential snowstorm, and we really don't see this one come together the same way we see on that uh, European model. We see some sort of a low pressure system there offshore of Maine, but not as much cold air. So we really don't see that one come together the same way we see on the European model. But as we move forward, we get a couple of interesting scenarios here. First off, a very, very strong and healthy positive PNA here, this warm bubble over the west. And this is forcing the cold air to move around this area and dive into the east. And I really do mean dive because look at this jet stream. We have this really ridging in the west and then this sharp, sharp uh, southern turn there in the east. And we see this Arctic air moving well south into the deep southeast like Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. We even see some snow mixing in here for North Carolina and Virginia on this model. So definitely a very interesting solution and we get a major nor'easter alongside that. It's just a little too cold and that storm is forced offshore. I think we could see some changes in that, but for now that's what we're seeing there. Uh, now this same storm moves off, but we do see another cold air mass move in, another low there offshore of Maine, and we get another northeast snowstorm there. But most interesting is we get a very cold air mass, a very strong nor'easter here all lining up. Again, we get all the ingredients, this positive PNA out west, definitely there, cold air moving into the east, definitely there, ingredient number two, and then a low pressure system moving up the coast, ingredient and final ingredient number three. All three are there, and they do come together on this model run. I want to zoom into the east, actually, before we take a look at this, because that's going to be our primary focus anyway. So let's just move through with this. We see 992 there offshore of North Carolina. Dives all the way down to a 976. This is truly a monster storm. We get snowfall up and down the Appalachian Mountain Range, up into New England here. We have heavy, moderate to heavy snowfall, I would say, for all of these areas here. Keep, keep in mind that this storm is rapidly intensifying. We see down to a 959 millibar low pressure center offshore of New England. Heavy snowfall from New York City up through New England. Uh, and we continue to see snowfall like that, even moving eastward towards Boston. As this low dives all the way down to a monstrous 947 millibar low pressure center. Do I expect this to happen? Absolutely not. But this is the type of solutions that I've been talking about for a few days now where I think the potential is there for these major snowstorms. Will this exact one happen? Probably not, but we are seeing the models pick up on one to even four major snowstorms over the next 15 days, and I certainly think we're going to be in a favorable period. Let's go over the total precipitation, and we will dive into the total snowfall in just a moment, but we see above average amounts here in the northwest, as well as the southeast as we get these storms flowing through this area pretty frequently over the next 10 to 15 days. Total snowfall here, you know, the Rockies, the Cascades, seeing a very large amount out there. We see some in the northeast here. Let's just zoom into the east, though, particularly the northeast. We do see anywhere from a dusting, if anything, in the grays. Blues are 2 to 6 inches. Purples are 6 to 10. And then your pinks are 10 to 20, which we see a lot of that there in New York, over through Vermont, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, better yet, New Hampshire, portions of Maine, portions of Connecticut, and even parts of Rhode Island. GFS model is a little bit more intense here, as you can see. We can see as far south as the Smoky Mountains there in North Carolina and Tennessee, through the mountainous regions of Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, and, and into Pennsylvania, very large amounts, even upwards of two feet. And then for areas in New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and even up through Maine, we're seeing anywhere from 20 to even 50 plus inches if that GFS American model uh, uh, verified here for New England. So certainly a very large amount of snowfall appears possible. This is certainly the higher end of things, and I think that we would see a lot less than this. But look at New York City, 8 to 10, Boston, 10 to 20. Uh, we're seeing larger areas receive pot potential major snowfall. Uh, even Pittsburgh with a handful of inches there, maybe about five inches max. So Cleveland, same story. Buffalo looking at 10 inches plus. So we're seeing some large cities receiving large amounts of snowfall on this particular model run. Now the temperature pattern, we're in an Arctic blast right now in the east. We see things do warm up by the time we're reaching about the weekend. 
uh, and it stays that way for a little bit. We do see another cool down by time of reaching mid to late week next week. So Wednesday the 6th into Thursday the 7th here, uh, even through the 8th. We warm up again after that one, but then we get another massive cool down here for around the 12th through the 14th, 15th, even maybe 16th time frame there. So three major upcoming cool downs, a handful of potential major snowstorms. We're looking at a very, very active upcoming pattern. Be sure to subscribe as we do upload videos just like this one every single day. You can even hit the bell icon for daily notifications when we upload so you never miss one. Be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.